I have so many like bizarre, weird Dune related stories because I'm paying attention because I'm in heaven right now. <laughs> I am in heaven. Can I tell you why I'm in heaven right now? Why? Let me you've tell been you. Using your popcorn bucket. It's it's look, Alan. It's not just all about the Dune popcorn bucket, of which this is the one that they're selling at the Regal. Come, you you get like a drink thing with the Atreides symbol there. It's not just about the Dune popcorn bucket, which by the way, sold out at it's sold out at AMC theaters now. The Dune popcorn buckets are sold out at least at the AMC theater I was at. But there is more Dune merch now than has ever existed. When the first Dune film came out in 1984, there was like a line of action figures. I don't think that the licensees knew what it was. It's not necessarily a film for kids, but of course I have let, you know, right back here, I've got my, my Dune sandworm from 1984, a couple more buckets, but there is Dune merch that I found that is crazy Dune merch. Can I do a little show and tell? Yeah. Let me do a little show and tell here just for Alan. Okay. We've got an Atreides mug. So check this out. It's got a sandworm on it. Is this new? No, this is not new. This is all new stuff related oh, wow. to the movie. You can tell because of the logo. That is a House Atreides Dune mug. Uh, I it'll you can put some Guinness in there if you would like. I've also got okay, and every screening of Dune that I've seen, I've worn these socks. Okay, and they're different styles. It's Dune socks. You can get these at um you can get these actually at Hot Topic. Oh, okay. Pack of two for $9.99. And they're different styles. I, I've I've gone crazy here. Okay, oh, you can get the both the Atreides and the Harkonnen ornithopter. These are cheap. They're like I don't know, like I don't know, under twenty bucks. Yeah. These, well, if uh, that was diecast metal, I'd be all all on it. They're not diecast metal. They're plastic. Yeah. And uh, there you go. And then here, the piece de resistance, Paul's Chris knife. I have it. So I'm gonna. I'm going to show it off to Shad later when I'm on FNT, but that is... Now you got to say the phrase. You got to do it. Long live the fighters! No, the uh, the whole uh, chip your oh. sword or whatever. Uh, yeah. May your knife chip and shatter. May your knife chip and shatter. Um, I'll say upon like a third viewing of the film, the things that I love stand out. I love even more. The things that bother me really bother me. So... Uh, I love the film, obviously, and I have nitpicks. And what I'm concerned about is that this is going to be the best studio slash blockbuster movie I will see this year. Yeah, I've gone doing crazy because, you know, when a new Star Wars movie comes out, there's like tons of merch and they kind of scale it like, well, this is for little kids. This is for kids. Here's the Lego set, whatever, <laughs> you know, um, yeah. I'm waiting for the comes, Lego Dune video game. Well, no, there's a thank. <laughs> thankfully, they will never be. I I hope they'll never be that. But if there is, I would probably get it. I'm just saying that, like, I don't like Dune is something I've loved since since you know I was a kid, a teenager, and first read the book. And there was never a lot of merch for it. So now that there's actually merch for it, like, I'm I'm kind of in heaven, checking out all the weird merch that exists. For Dune. So there's a lot of other stuff too, but um I just thought I would show off some of the weird things. Yeah. Yes, get your Dune socks over at Hot Topic. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we're gonna head to Hot Topic after we see the movie. That's exactly wrong. I am super excited about something and I want to let you guys know about it. And that is this Dune Awakening Direct premieres on March 4th. What is Dune Awakening? It is an open world video game. Um, so you're going to get a preview of it. I believe it'll be available on Steam. But I have seen footage of this open world Dune game and it looks absolutely spectacular. So uh, I, this is just a, this is just sort of a, a little, I'm just letting you know about it. I, and I am like, I, I'm a casual gamer. This is a game I will play on this channel. So this game consists of you running across the desert? I am running across the desert 
placing <laughs> thumpers to ride the worm. Okay. And I cannot wait. Um, this okay. is so the there will be worm riding in this game. I was addicted to this Dune. Um, it was like a strategy game, and it was for the Sega Genesis. It was also like a PC game. Um, I don't know if you remember that. Wasn't there a Avalon Hill game of Dune? Uh, well, there's there are Dune board games. There are uh, they came out recently with Dune Monopoly, uh, but but in terms of video games, there was the Dune strategy game which I played in the '90s, and then there's this game. There is a, a mo in terms of a modern Dune game, there hasn't been one. Dune Awakening is there's this big event, and you're going to be able to see it on Twitch, uh, the IGN channel, and at the Funcom. Funcom is the name of the company. So just look that up. We'll put a link in the description to the Funcom YouTube channel. Uh, and I'm going to, on Monday, I'm going to be checking it out. It's going to be at 9, I assume 9 a.m. Pacific time. Yes. So I'm going to check it out live. I can't wait. Uh, and I have been, it's just been on my radar. And I think it's worth checking out. This is just a uh, promo video or promo stream i don't know alan i don't know it's it's basically you'll be able to wish list it on on steam and it says we are thrilled to announce the debut of our new series of dune awakening direct showcases hosted by zoe Yishwind. we'll be taking the most in-depth look at the game and showing new never before seen game footage it'll be on steam so wish list it now on steam and I'm sure you'll be part of the beta, but I'm looking forward to that. I'll be watching that Monday morning. Could be a lot of fun. Uh, there's some other interesting Dune news. By the way, it'll be available on Steam, PS5, and Xbox. Oh, well, there you According are. To the headline that I just read. <laughs> okay. Well, guess what? There's some other Dune cool stuff that we can talk about here. I'm going to show you right here. Here it is. It is the soundtrack. This, this, I, I have gone Dune crazy. I'm just, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm admitting it now. I, I don't care. Uh, from a company called Mutant, it's called madebymutant.com. You can get the Dune soundtrack on pressed. Uh, it's two times 140 gram color vinyl, liner notes by Denis Villeneuve and Hans Zimmer. With artwork by Greg Ruth. It's now currently available for pre-order. It looks awesome. I mean, these kind of things also like, you know, uh, oh, there's, you can pre-order different versions of it. Okay. It's the mutant exclusive. It's not, doesn't seem that expensive. You can get it How for 20 bucks. How much is the, the vinyl? CD? The CD special edition is 20 bucks. The vinyl is 50. 50. Okay. So there you go. Oh, look, they have drive away dolls as well. But yeah, uh, the okay. Dune, Dune is available for pre-order. Look, they've got Wonka. I just, I like this stuff because here's the thing. There's a lot of things. There are a lot of people are going to have the Dune popcorn bucket, right? How many people are going to have the Dune part two on vinyl? Okay. Not a lot of people, but it's on my list. So there you go. I just have to let you know about it in case you're interested. Okay. So there you are. All I'll right. This. Here, I'll just show you one. Please thing. share screen. Could you share screen? Yeah, I will do. It. So, yeah, I was right. There, I remember this. There was an Avalon Hill Dune game. There, when I was in uh, high school, uh, I was buying a lot of Avalon Hill games. Uh, I never bought Dune, but I did buy Starship Troopers. But uh, there it is. Wow. I don't know. Did you ever play these games when you were a kid? I didn't play those games. No. But yeah. I did play to death. I played the, uh, the, the, it was, I played it on Sega. And then the weird thing is this is okay. I was recently on an episode of side scrollers. So check that out. Shout out to Craig and blab, but, uh, and with Melanie Mac, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. She thought you were very funny. Did she? <laughs> she was laughing a lot at everything you said. Well, clearly Melanie will laugh at anything, <laughs> but, uh, I played that Sega game like constantly 
it's one of those strategy games where you kind of build and then you get, you can build up and you, you're mining spice and you got all, you know, it's a, it's a top view strategy game um, in the desert. It's played those types of games before very popular on uh, PC, but they did a version for Sega and I got the Sega nomad. Nobody knows what the Sega nomad is, but I do. It was a handheld Sega Genesis. You could take Sega Genesis cartridges and put them in the Sega Nomad, and it was like a handheld, you know, like the Game Boy or or any of those. I loved all those. I was a game collector until I just like I just I had so many old game systems, and uh, I just at some at a certain point I just had to get rid of that stuff. But here's here's how crazy I've gone. Okay, Legendary has a shop, so it's shop dot Legendary got dot com. With all this Dune merch. Okay. So we scroll down. Here's some of the Dune merch. Oh my God. They're using the same picture of the same girl. That's actually, that's Ms. Peacoffee modeling that shirt. Yeah. Um, but here's all the Dune part two merch. They've got little, uh, look at this. The bookends look kind of cool. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. They're not in stock yet. I checked. Um, but let's look at all the Dune stuff here. I'll zoom in to get a better view. Uh, this stuff looks, yeah, there's some, there's some cool stuff in here. You got Dune bookends. You've got a Shai Halud Sherpa blanket. These are standees, by the way. I don't know why you would want those. That looks, seems kind of lame. Um, a Dune uh, vinyl sandworm. All right. Uh, pint glass uh i already have these dune playing cards by the way they're 10 bucks on amazon so um yeah i'm looking at this stuff i can't say i'm not uh tempted dune etched slate coasters i like stuff related to a bar like you know i've got i've got kind of a cool bar in my place and this is the thing that has me right here the dune decanter set check this out like that looks pretty cool with the whiskey stones. I don't know. I'm kind of kind of looking at that with the Atreides, you know, glasses and, and decanter. Yeah, but other than the logo, does that feel like Dune? I don't care. It's Dune, oh. Alan. All right, geez. It's Dune. I'm just trying I, to save you some money here. I'm just going, I'm just, I'm looking at this going like, I'm very particular about merch because my place is not exactly huge. So I tend to go for things that are practical or like, like, like these Atreides unisex fleece pants. Well, I have legs. I would wear pants that say Dune and Atreides on them. Why wouldn't I have these? Oh, it's got a little front pocket. Or is that a back pocket? I don't know. What is this? Okay, folks. Yes, the <laughs> oh desert gosh. has made me crazy. Oh my gosh! What? No, it's just what? you're. Yeah, no, you love Dune. I get it. It look. This is. I am. Here's what my fear is. We've already topped out 2024. We've already topped out 2024. Yeah. Because there is not going to be anything bigger than dune in terms of a mainstream movie from hollywood there's going to be nothing bigger this year than than what we just saw even with its flaws nothing bigger you could get a harkonnen hat look you got it i'm sure that's what is that a mouse pad no a laptop sleeve you know all this <laughs> you, stuff, a laptop sleeve. you might need one yeah no, what's amazing is what Marvel had three movies come out last year, and we're, we never talked about the merch. Uh, Disney had a couple of movies come out last year. Uh, the only reason we talked about the merch was because it was on the clearance rack. I mean, it's kind of nice to be able to talk about merch for once and and see some some good looking stuff. Not that I would buy it, but look, if you need a blanket. There is a dune sandworm blanket. I'm just saying. There you are. Oh my God. 
People in the chat have to, I'm sure they're roasting me right now on this. They, they are. It is okay. They are all right. Yeah. All right. I get it. I get it. I'm just I'm just super excited that there's um yeah, okay. 